DC3. I want to tell you that you look good. Like, can you do me a favor? Could you just go outside your room and tell somebody else that they look good? And could you glad to say I'm glad to see you this morning? Whoop, go to DC3. Who lets the 
said in prayer, in prayer. Our Father, in prayer. which art in heaven, in prayer. hallowed be, in prayer. hallowed be thy name. In prayer. Thy kingdom come, in prayer. and thy will be done. In if I take it to the Lord, in prayer, in prayer. In prayer. all you got to do in is take it to the Lord. In all you got to do in is prayer. take it to the Lord. In Come on and clap your hands for Jesus if you really love him. Hello, Ms. Jenkins. Can I talk to you for a second? Hi, Joshlyn. Sure, come on in and have a seat. Thank you. I have a question. Okay, so I am wanting to try out for the track team. I have skills, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually make it. Oh, I am so glad you picked this moment to come in and talk with me today because I was just studying a lesson and this falls in line with the lesson that I have to teach on Sunday. It's about Jesus when he walks on water. So in this scene, it's found in Matthew, the 14th chapter, 22nd to the 33rd verse in case you want to read it. But Jesus has sent the disciples on a cross the Sea of Galilee and he wanted to stay back and pray. So once he finished with his prayer, he looked across, he saw the disciples in the midst of the sea. They had not reached the other side, but they were encountering some problems. The waves of the sea and the huge wind they could never cross over. So Jesus just began to walk towards them in the midst of the sea. So he was walking on water. And guess what happened? As he was walking on water, nearing the boat, the disciples saw him and they were amazed at this shadow. First they thought it was a ghost. One said it's a spirit. But then what did Jesus say? He said, be of courage, it is I. So when Peter saw that this was Jesus walking on water, guess what he said? Bid me to come. And at that moment, Jesus said, come. So you know what that did? Because Peter already had a relationship with Jesus and he knew that he had already done some miraculous acts. When he bid him to come, that activated his faith. So once his faith was activated, he began to step out of the boat when Jesus said, come. But guess what? He heard the wind. He already had encountered the waves on the boat that they had been fighting against all night. So his focus point was off. He looked at the wind and the waves and he began to sink because he lost focus. He lost focus in the one that had bid him to come onto the Sea of Galilee. And because of that, he began to cry out because he was sinking. And immediately, when he sank, Jesus grabbed him and they entered the boat. And at that moment, they knew that he was the Son of God. Isn't that a beautiful story? How God wants us to be courageous. He told them, be encouraged. It is I. And that's what you have to do. You know that you have the skill set. So I want you to be courageous when you get ready to go and try out. I want that your focus point to be focused on you and what your ultimate goal is at that time. And have faith, because guess what? You can do all things in Christ Jesus who, who strengthens you. Remember that, Joshua? Keep your focus on Christ. Have courage. I want you to be courageous in every step of the way and continue on in faith. I know you can do this, Jocelyn. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming by. Have a nice day. You too.
music is so good. Like, y'all are so talented. How do y'all do this? God taught me to be courageous and not afraid. God is with you always. God will never leave you. I also practiced every day. Um, I got I got better, which got to me into the middle school and high school band. When I learned how to play the piano, I had to learn how to play the keys. And whenever I was struggling, I just prayed to God to help me, and that's how I mastered playing the piano. That is awesome. I'm trying to get like y'all. Uh, I will have courage. I will have faith, and God will always be with me. I'm I'm back to. I will get in this track team. I will. I will. Thank you, y'all. Have welcome. a nice day. You too. You too. Hey, Miss Anderson. Hey, Jocelyn. How have you been? I've been doing well. How are you today? Good. How about? I just wanted. To, I just wanted to come to you and just tell you how great a teacher you are. Like, how do you do this every day? You have to have faith in God, Jocelyn. Have faith in God? Yes, you have to have faith in God because faith is the substance of things that we hope for, the evidence of things we've not seen. Mm -hmm. And what you have to do is you have to do not copy the behaviors of this world because God wants you to be unique and He wants you to be yourself. He wants you to please Him and not others. So what you're going to think of, God is going to help you to renew your mind so you can think of things that's excellent, think of things that's pure, and think of things that's just lovely. And you're going to do awesome with everything that you're going to do in your life. Thank you. I have track, I got track trials in 30 minutes. I got to get ready. I got this. Yes, and you're going to do an awesome job too, Jocelyn. Thank you. What's up, everybody? How y'all been doing? Good. <laughs> I love the way y'all feel so encouraged. How do y'all do this every day? You must keep your focus on God. God is excellent. Fresh your thoughts on what is true. God is true. Faith makes things possible. When I'm scared, I say, fear don't live here because I have faith in God. That's how I'm going to pass my tumble class. Think of things that are worthy and praise. I worship God. I praise God. I put on my football team. I love my team. We won the football championship. I focus on never giving up and I practice my football skills. And I focus I focus on God and he always be there for, for my football games. Thank you, y'all. I must have courage. I will make this church team. Have fun. Bye. Hi, ladies. I want you all to participate in a skit to summarize what we have been learning. So I, I'm looking at Dana, so I think she would be our best candidate to carry out this assignment. You okay with that, Dana? But guess what? You got to do it blindfold. All right. Once that blindfold is secure, we're ready to start. All right, Dana, I need you to stand up. And I need you to take six steps to your left. All right. Now, I want you to step forward five steps. Great. Is that good? All right. You trust me? Yes. I want you to have a seat. Wonderful. Thank you, Dana. You've done a beautiful job. So, what I want you all to remember today, our main focus was about Jocelyn. When Jocelyn liked courage, she liked faith, and she had lost her focus. But, as you can see, Jocelyn gained her courage and her faith and her trust in God by listening to her peers as they cheered her on and they gave their own testimonies. And that's how we have to be in today's world. We have to be focused, we have to be courageous, and we have to trust God. So I want to leave you with something. I want to leave you with our memory verse, which is found in 
Romans, the 12th chapter, in the second verse, it reads, don't copy the behavior of customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Thank you. You all have a great week.